Audio Oasis on KEXP 90.3 Seattle. It's now time for live music by Kelly Schaefer on KEXP. Listening to Kelly Schaefer on KEXP.
90.3 KEXP online all over the world at KEXP.org. I'm so excited today to have Kelly Schaefer and Van here in the studios. Thank you so much for coming. Um, it, it's like I'm really happy to have you here because I, the first time that I heard Underground, which is what you just performed, um, it was just sent to me as a single, and Jeremiah, your drummer, which you two also run uh, Amigo Amiga Records. So you, know, you sent it to me, and I was like, whoa, this is like, this is like my 2017 song. Like, it's like, so, it's so good. And I remember um, going to Treefort and seeing that you were playing, and I was like, I just have to see her. I just need to see her. And I, and I think about it, and I'm like, wow, I was working as an intern on Audio Oasis in 2011, which is the last time that you had came to KXP. And I just, I don't know, maybe, maybe this is my connection to you. And I'm really happy that it happened. And I remember going to the performance at Tree Fort, and you just are as epic recorded as you are live. And it was such a great experience that I remember like running up to you guys and be like, this is so great. So um, that just stuck with me a lot. And I had an opportunity to see you play. You opened for Iskadoff at the Crocodile. Yeah. And I went to that show and was trying to take pictures of you. Mm. And it was hard because you are... You, you love to move. You have All a lot. Over the place. Yeah, yeah. I really, I really liked it a lot. So, um, yeah, it stuck with me, and I'm just, I'm, I'm happy that we were able to have this work out. So, thank you so much for yeah. coming to the show. Thank you. Your, uh, your enthusiasm means a lot. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's easy. Um, the lyrics to your songs are just so real, and you, you really share yourself. So, I, I appreciate that. Um, I wanted to to find out, like, you just do the best things with your vocals and <laughs> just really are very playful with them. Um, I wanted to find out what your history is with singing, and did you grow up singing? Like, what's your history? With yeah, that? Uh, yeah, I did. It's a um, not not a whole lot uh, comes naturally to me. I have to work pretty hard at most things. Uh, singing is one thing that I don't really have to work very hard at, and then that's probably going to make some people upset, but. I don't really have to work very hard at it. Um, the only thing I have to work hard at is uh, making sure that I'm checking in with myself, that I'm doing what comes naturally to me and kind of allowing myself to do what comes naturally to me. Yeah. And the more I can kind of free myself up to do that, the, you know, that's when, when, the, when the good stuff comes out. Well, it's obvious that you set aside creative space for yourself and that's really a wonderful thing. And probably one of the best things that we can do as artists and, you know, just people who just have to express themselves in ways. So, you know, again, thank you for sharing with us, you know. Absolutely. And yeah, I mean, like, I was just in my research of you, um, I found out that you had lent your vocals to a producer in LA. Um, their name is Miha. Yeah, Miha. Yeah. And the name of the song is called Bad For You. And I, 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 call it out because it's so cool. Another way that you are just being very playful with your vocals and also trying something different, right. which I really liked. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it's funny that, that uh, Amber is her name, that she chose to, um, to work with me on that song because it was the one that we don't play live. I'm not really sure why. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're working on a, on a scenario that we can play that. Um, but she chose that one, and it was the one that we hadn't really uh, played played live. But it kind of, it sort of that song sort of kind of bridges the gap, I think, or uh, between the kind of two very different genres that we come from. So yeah, I wanted to ask um, if you planned on working with her more, or if there was something that you were thinking about doing with your music. Um, nothing, nothing in the works right now. But I would be, I'd be open to it, and I would love to work with her more. She's a really cool person. Yeah, cool. Yeah, a really great track among the ones that you're writing yourself. Um, and so I also kind of wanted to, to touch a little bit just on the album making process. Um, where, where did you record the album at? Um, kinda, no Identity is the name of the album. Too. Right. Uh, yeah, we, um, we kind of skipped all around. You know, we started, we started in a studio that a friend had in Vancouver, Washington, um, and did some tracking there and, you know, 
wrapped up uh, maybe three or four songs and then, you know, some things kind of fell through and plans didn't work out. And so um, as we do, we just got creative and kind of hopped from home studio to makeshift home studio. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of how it came together. Yeah. Um, I, I wanted to touch a little bit on the name of the album um, because I think that it's, it's a theme that just really draws a lot out in a thought process. Yeah. Um, so the, the name of the record, No Identity, um, I just really took some time to like think about what that meant to me. And I guess it makes me think about, you know, not being tied to anything, the idea of being yourself, not being de defined by anything and the world going through a lot of changes and the reflection of how we are perceived and how that can give us an identity. And we as individuals can choose that identity or not to and define ourselves the way that we want to. That's, that's kind of what we, it made me think about. Right. I guess I wanted to find out your reflection on that since this is, you know, your theme. Yeah. So the, the concept of the album in the beginning or like what I kind of laid out my, laid, laid the plans out for it and then what it kind of ended up being about, um, sort of kind of a meta experience for me. Uh, so I think in the beginning, I, you know, I have a lot of people that I look up to and a lot of people that I admire and they're all people that just work, 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 work. They just, they have a, a daily ritual, a daily routine. And, uh, and then they just make stuff that I just crave. And I just, you know, I really have a lot of respect for that. So I tried to kind of put myself in that position when I was writing for this record, um, come to find out that it just does not work for me. <laughs> so I would come up with a concept and I would, then I would try to jam all of my ideas and thoughts and feelings that would come up, I would try to jam that into this very narrow little concept that I had come up with. And I think as the album kind of kept going and I kind of started realizing that like my creativity really needs space and, it, and my sort of attention needs to be allowed to roam around and, and I don't deal very well with structure. Um, I, you know, the album kind of started to take form after I kind of allowed myself to to do that, and the, the album title, No Identity, it was a line in a song, um, but it didn't, it kind of became evident in the very last moments of trying to figure out what we're gonna name this thing, that that kind of sums up my whole experience in making the record. Yeah. Um, which wasn't something that I set out to do, but, uh, but it was kind of just kind of popped out at the very end. Um, so it, the whole experience of making the record and what the record ended up really being about was very meta. <laughs> yeah. I also feel like you visit a lot of different things throughout the album as well. Death and um, politics and stuff. And, you know, I just, I, I think that those are very strong things to think about, especially when you're not trying to work within a structure. Right. Yeah, my, um, my, my sort of experience, I guess my, I wouldn't say politics as much as uh, just sort of maybe my experience of uh, social structures and mm -hmm. how people live their lives is kind of more what I'm interested in. And I'm, I know that flows over into politics as well. But, uh, you know, I grew up in a small town, very patriarchal family values. And, uh, you know, and that got ingrained in me very deeply to the point that I didn't really know what was happening. <laughs> so, uh, but then I kind of started to dig in there and kind of want to play around a little bit with what, uh, you know, what really did kind of get in there so deep that I couldn't really figure out how to cleanse myself from it, you know? And I think a lot of the, some of the themes on the record ended up being about kind of small town uh, white culture. Um, and kind of looking at it without really an opinion on it, you know, without really trying to make a statement, but just sort of like, you know, this is, this is what I experienced and this is what I'm seeing that these kinds of people do experience. And, uh, and so there wasn't, you know, with those songs, no, just about half the record is kind of based around that. Uh, I'm really not really trying to make much of a statement. I'm just kind of trying to like figure it out. I think um, recognition is a really important thing. It comes first. Yeah. It has to come first. Yeah. Um, it's a great record. Thank we should you. hear more from it. Thank you. Yeah, Kelly Schaefer on KEXP.
Listening to Kelly Schaefer live on KEXP. Brother, do you hear me, skinny little pretty? Keep it mighty. 
teeth clean, brother, do you see me? Brother, do you see me smoking like a chimney? Tramp stamp, cock block, dirty rip blue jeans. Listening to Kelly Schaefer live on Audio Oasis on KEXP.
You're listening to live music by Kelly Schaefer here on Audio Oasis on KEXP. And she is performing songs from her latest album, No Identity, came out last year and around March. And uh, tonight you're playing at the Tractor. I'm sorry, at the Sunset. And you're playing with Tomton and Familiars. Yep. And you're going back to Tree Fort. Yeah. Boise. Super excited that you're going to be there. I'm going to be there too. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for this epic, dynamic performance. Yeah. I also just want to say the reason why singing comes easy for you is because you sing from your heart and you can tell. You can Thank see you. it. Thank you. So wonderful. Thank you so much for coming to the show. Thank you. And thanks to uh, my band for being here. Oh, too. yeah. You all are so great. Thanks. Yeah. I, I, I'm not sure I would be much without them. So yeah, appreciate yeah, it. I appreciate them all being here as well. So thank you so much again. Thank you. Yeah, you've been listening to a live performance by Kelly Schaefer here on Audio Oasis 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.